It's been 75 years since Bally rolled out the Ballyhoo, its first pinball machine. While the pinball craze helped shape a generation, coin arcades rang up more bells than profits. Bally sold off the division in 1998. Real Vision is Bally's latest machine. The sophisticated slot machine offers payouts, however small, on every spin. You want the customer to have a chance to win something, so they range from 93 to 95 percent payback. Keeping track of those payments means the machines are now wired to a computer network. And because the machines are connected, so too are their jackpots. We're able to keep track of each individual casino's profits and losses on that uh, wide area progressive network, as well as uh, create the tracking of who's won the jackpots and how much they've won and how long, often they've hit. We see that as the first step in what will eventually be the gaming devices controlled by central servers where a player comes to a device and can choose from one of hundreds of games if they want games that appeal to their style of mathematics, their style of win, their style of graphics. Making the games fun and appealing required Bally to adopt a new approach. Designers, graphic artists, mathematicians, programmers, even a musician, all used to develop the new games. As uh, the younger generation has started to embrace uh, slot gaming, they're looking for that type of Xbox experience where we've been able to create exciting video slot machines uh, with, with real uh, fun to play and challenging bonus rounds that capture the uh, imagination of the player. As fun as these games may be to play, it's the lure of winning that attracts players. It's also what keeps Bally and the casinos in the game. The company says that despite the large number of payouts games like Real Vision provide, it's the casinos that are the real winners. The house can expect to keep about five to six percent of what goes into every machine. John Belmont, the Associated Press.